morning. Welcome to Dog Man. Morning coffee. Well, let me set the stage for you about my rude awakening this morning. Yeah. Let's let's go back about a week. Let's we're gonna have to go back about a week. So I've been noticing strange things uh, winding up on my property, as in trash. Uh, there was a big cottage cheese container with teeth marks in it. Uh, showed up about a week ago, and I seen. I already know. I already know who did it. And I know it didn't come from my trash. Millie, she brought, found a cottage cheese container. Okay, brought that thing home. I blew it off, let her keep it. Mistake. I should have scolded her right then. Said no. It took it away. But no, in fact, it's still out there. So the next day, I find a shoe. It ain't my shoe. Don't know whose shoe it is. And I've dealt with this before with dogs. Uh, I had a German Shepherd a long time ago that would go steal the neighbor's shoes. If any shoes were left outside, and I lived out in the country. This dog was not in a yard or anything. There was no big roads around. Uh, but, but it would bring home people's shoes. And I'd have to save the shoes, you know, in case anybody came looking. So anyway, this morning, this morning was not pleasant. I'll put it to you that way. I look at my camera, which is right there, and I see debris in the backyard in front of my new building. Everywhere. So I go outside to take a closer look. You know, I, I go out there in the morning to give them milk bones, kind of a, they get their morning treat. And it's also a welfare check, so I can check on them. So here they come running, they come running, they get their milk bones, and I see all this debris, and I look, and she had brought home an entire trash bag, full of trash, other people's trash. It ain't so bad if it's your own trash, it's your trash, but other people's trash is nasty, and it's spread all over, and I'm fuming. And I know who did it. I know, and I told her, bad girl. So I go get, I go get a rake. I get a big shovel, and I rake it all up, put it in the gorilla cart, take it over to the fire pit. Well, from the time it takes me to dump it in the fire pit to go to my shed where I've got a torch, first I got to get my keys to open my shed. Okay, she's over there digging through it. And I don't want her in that fire pit. There's boards with nails and everything else. And I'm yelling at her, get out of there. So I get over there and I light it with the torch. It, you know, imagine waking up to somebody else's trash deep in your property. That's what it was. McDonald's packages, Coke cans, you name it. Ah, oh, that girl. So that's, that's her little trend right now. Is finding trash. I told her I'm gonna put you in a yard. She doesn't go out at all during the day. So they, she just, you know, two, three in the morning, she goes next door or wherever she goes, and she found her a nice. She didn't didn't just bring a container home. She brought the whole bag, the entire bag, which means she didn't tear that bag open there. She just picked up the whole bag, and it was a big bag, you know, your normal kitchen size trash bag. She brought the whole thing home. I've got to get on. If I can find footage of that, uh, I'll put it in this video because it's got to be funny. But it wasn't funny when I'm out there picking it up. So I'll see if I can find footage of that and maybe we'll stick it in right here. If you don't see it, I didn't find it. Okay. Ah, now, if you've ever owned, if well, you don't own dogs, okay, they own you. But if you've ever had dogs, you know they go, at certain times of their life, they'll go through phases. And uh, Lulu, I'll put a picture of Lulu right here. Lulu liked to go inside an old canning shed. 
Now, this is before I had my property, uh, staying at a friend's house when I bought my fifth wheel. And there was an old cannon shed, but there was holes like in the side of the building. The dogs would get in there. Every single day, I'd come home from work, and there'd be a canning jar laying in the middle of the yard. No explanation. And I didn't know where they were coming from, because I never went in that canning shed. So I had a big smoker, like a barbecue grill. It was, it was a great big smoker, so I just opened the lid and I put the jar in there so the dogs wouldn't mess with it. And almost every day I'd come home and there'd be a, another jar and I'd look in there and it wasn't the jar I picked up the day before. Well, come to find out, I caught her in the act one day coming out of there with a, she had the whole mason, it had lids on them, had the whole mason jar in her mouth and she would put it down and she'd toss them around. And Lulu was a character. Uh, she was a beagle. And every day, every with a, never missed a day. Uh, every day, about two p.m., she would go on a bug tangent. That's what I that's what I called it. She would just, and this these would last one two hours. She would just run around the yard, chasing bugs. You'd see her lurching up, chasing bugs and and. I don't know what she was doing. She wasn't right in the head. But <laughs> that's how I knew when she got older and it was her getting to be her time. I knew she was sick because she would she didn't go on her bug tangents. And yeah, a couple of days later, yep, I had to have her put down. She had, you know, you would have never known anything was wrong with that dog. Uh, but she, you know, she was 10 years old for a beagle. Outdoor beagle, that's that's pretty old. Anyway, dogs do go through their little phases. Uh, Waldo, uh, so I could tell you stories on things Waldo has done. And he's even weirder now that he's lost his hearing. <laughs> but you bring a brand new blanket in there and give him the wall, give it to Waldo, or wash his nasty old blanket. He'll take it outside, he don't want no part of it. He will not, he don't want any part of it. So if you do introduce anything new, you got to rub it on the old nasty one. And then blankets they got need washed, but he'll drag them out. And, you know, I bought him brand new beds, They the like what rooster lays on. He ain't having it. It smells new and it ain't, doesn't have his nasty smell on it. He drags it outside. I've got some videos of that, I think, on my other channel uh man but yeah they all go through their little phases uh what what else lucy lucy is waldo was waldo's brother uh she's passed away now but she <laughs> she would find if there were any kind of electrical cords she would go after them you had to really watch with her but she would find them in the ground and dig up the ground if there was any electrical cords and and still to this day there's an old cord in my yard now it was never alive but she found it dug it up and you can still see it to this day and that was her little fetish that she did but they all go through something and and they'll crack you up there goes that camera again i gotta fix that ah. so there i am out there i have i this is the same cup of coffee, the first cup of coffee. Heated it up, looked in there and seen that. That is not a way to want to wake up, to have to clean up somebody else's trash on your own land. It just drove, I mean, ah, it just drove me nuts looking at it. That girl, but you know, you got to laugh. It's, <laughs> it's funny, but she, and it, she's not hungry. There was no food in that trash bag. It was like an office, I don't know. It just had like plastic cups and you know, it was just gross. It, other people's trash, especially when you don't know where it comes from, is gross. And I don't want it in my yard. Don't know what we're going to do. I threatened her with putting her in the yard. Well, she's done very well. She will go mostly back in the pasture. That's where she got it. Because they ain't been burning trash back there. I'll bet you that's where she got it. Yeah. Because I haven't seen her go anywhere else. She doesn't cross the road or any of that. 
once in a while if a stray dog and i call any dog that's wandering down the road a stray dog if one comes by she'll chase at it uh, or go go to meet it but if i tell her to get back here she will so she's she's turned out to be a real good dog uh I said when they showed up, her and Tilly, I am not building another yard. Wally died. I took his yard down. Lulu died. Took her yard down. I'm not putting another one up. I didn't want two more dogs, but I guess I didn't have a choice in that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I had a whole entire different subject for this morning's podcast, but that got changed. So I don't know. If you got a silly story or what your dog's phases were, put it in the comments. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll do what I... I wanted to talk about some of my favorite YouTube channels. Maybe we can do that tomorrow. And uh, there's some really cool channels that I watch. You know, they're not homesteading channels. I don't watch homesteading channels. I don't. They're boring. Very boring to me. I can't stand one. I mean... If you're living rural and doing that life, I sure the heck don't want to watch somebody else's homestead channel. Yeah, I just don't do it. I watch, well, I'll say there's one I found. I just found it's called Casper Sight. I know, I probably millions of people know who he is, but he uh, checks out videos on UFOs and ghosts and things. He's got some pretty cool videos out there, but. That's what the plan was for today to talk about, but I guess we'll do that tomorrow or another day, because Melly Dunn changed the subject of today, so. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all. Hey, and if you, uh, I don't push memberships or any of that, that, you know, that nonsense, but they're there. So if you wouldn't, you know, like to support the channel, and it's growing very well here, so I appreciate that. But number one, hey, you know, if you enjoy the channel, think about subscribing. It's free. I know a lot of people today, they don't understand. Subscribing doesn't cost you a thing. All it does, it helps the channel out. You don't even have to subscribe. Just watch. Uh, you know, 70% of the people that watch YouTube videos are not subscribed. But it's nice to have, you know, people subscribe that'll come back every day. And there's people that never subscribe, but they come back every day. I don't know. But it is free. A lot of people are misguided on that. So it doesn't cost you nothing. And I do have some very cheap memberships. I don't know. I don't do much with that, but it helps. Anyway, there's my, my spiel, my pitch for the probably year. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on tomorrow. Happy trails.